I'm Natalie Sisson and this is the Suitcase Entrepreneur Show where we talk about creating freedom in business and adventure in life. So let's get started. In my Suitcase Entrepreneur book, I wrote a whole chapter on setting up your virtual office and I like to think of it as breaking it down in the physical office and taking it online. So for example, your desktop. For your desktop, what that actually becomes is Google everything. Google Gmail, Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Apps. So I basically will store any living, working document that I'm working on in Google Drive. I can share that with my team. I can update it at any time. I can find whatever I'm working on. Content editorial calendar, video series, etc. Gmail is like my home away from home. It's where obviously I receive all my emails. I search on a lot of things and I have a few apps within Gmail like Reportive, and box that help me manage my inbox more effectively, but I'll do another video on that later. So that's the desktop taken care of. What about your phone? Well, I actually personally like using Skype and Skype Premium because I can actually get a number allocated to me. So somebody can be calling my number anywhere from the world thinking they're getting a home phone or a landline, but they're actually just calling my Skype, and there's even voicemail. Or you can use uh, Google Voice if you're in the US. I think they're slowly expanding to other countries, but it does pretty much the same thing. What about signing documents and contracts, which is a real pain in the ass, I have to say, when people say, can you just send me over this contract, sign it, post it, fax it, whatever. Well, I really like Our Deal. It's a great service for doing exactly that, but electronically. So any legal documents or contracts, you can sign them through Our Deal really, really quickly and easily. You can either type in your name or literally physically sign it on the screen, and it's all done digitally. And the same applies for sending faxes, paper, anything like that. Scans, you can use a service called HelloFax, which does it all digitally, avoiding the need for paper. So now we're talking about the financial department. I love the service Shoebox, which basically allows you to take a photo of business cards, receipts, items like that, and actually have it sent to a digital online file that you can access at any time. It basically removes the need to keep your receipts and all those annoying little cards and things that you keep around. And it also works in with other services so you can send that out to your accountant. Really, really cool, check out Shoeboxed. And another one that I love is FreshBooks. FreshBooks is an invoicing system and kind of a time management system. It allows you to invoice your clients, allows your team to invoice you. And once again, it works in with many other services keeps everything online so you don't need all this paper stuff and signing off let's get rid of paper let's go digital that would make my life a lot easier so one of the most important things that your virtual office needs is a residential or postal address and obviously when you're like me and you never have an address it can get a little bit difficult I have to be honest before I actually got into using these tools that I'm going to tell you about in a second I used to use my parents address in New Zealand my former address in London where my friend still lives uh, Natalie McNeil thank you for providing a Canadian address and Nancy Lynn thank you for providing a Portland address in the US and that's literally how I've gone about it for so long I don't actually get much mail I usually use all online statements from my bank and any utilities of when I do need utilities so I always try to go paperless but people will still send you mail so what if you don't have a physical post box well there are two really cool tools that will take over this for you for a start if you don't want to go down to a post office and send letters or PDFs or documents try PC to paper it's a very very cool service that does that for you it allows you to send real letters PDFs and documents from your computer but they get sent out physically and this is actually for about the same price as sending it from a post office it's a brilliant service the second cool tool I'm going to tell you about is called earth class mail now they're actually a virtual mail room and warehouse so all your mail gets directed to one of their locations in the US but you can use it across 170 countries and they will actually scan it take a photo send it to you and you can say whether you want to discuss it, forward it, ship it, or just hold it where it is. Cool, huh? On top of that, they do the same for packages, not just letters. So you can have all your stuff sent there and pick it up later or have it forwarded on. And you can also set up a permanent address with them. So they will actually give you a legitimate address that you pay for with a monthly fee, which can be your standard address wherever you are in the world where all your mail goes and people can send things to. So those are my two tips for you for mail. And so the other part of having a virtual office is obviously where does your mail go? Now I have to say for the longest time I couldn't get into my letterbox. 